If you have spent any time on the internet in the past five years, you have undoubtedly heard of the mewing movement. People, usually on Reddit, that's where that proper tongue posture has changed their lives for the better, fixed their chronic congestion, corrected facial asymmetry, and gave them the giga chad jawlines they were chasing their entire lives. But does mewing actually have any science-backed benefits? Let's find out. In this video, we're gonna look at what mewing is, how to do it, its origins, the testimonials, and the science. Let's get into it. So what is mewing? The concept of mewing originates from the work of Dr. John Mew and his son, Dr. Mike Mew, who are British orthodontists. The technique involves a postural adjustment in the mouth aimed at improving facial structure, pushing the tongue up against the roof of the mouth and sitting up proper, what they call video game posture. Head and neck straight up and chin slightly tucked. Mewing claims that it can lead to aesthetic improvements, better breathing, improved posture, and overall health benefits. Dr. John Mew is credited with developing the orthotropics treatment philosophy which focuses on guiding facial growth naturally through proper oral posture, rather than traditional orthodontics that often rely on braces and extractions. Orthotropics emphasizes the importance of maintaining the correct tongue posture, correct swallowing, and proper breathing through the nose to influence the development of the facial bones and muscles. The Muse have argued that modern lifestyles, including soft diets and mouth breathing, contribute to improper facial development, leading to a host of issues like crooked teeth, misaligned jaws, and compromised airways. Mewing has gained a following among people looking for a natural way to improve their facial aesthetics and health outcomes related to the structure of their jaws and airways. So how do you do it? First, flatten your tongue against the roof of your mouth. Then ensure the entire back of your tongue is pressed upwards on the roof of your mouth. Third, keep your lips pressed together and teeth lightly touching. Fourth, vacuum the rest of the air out of your mouth. Make it feel a little bit tight, but not too much. Fifth, breathe through your nose continuously and six, make sure you are standing upright with your chin slightly tucked. Okay, let's get into the testimonials. People on Reddit that claim that mewing has changed their lives for the better. First, we have this guy, Nick Abel. This is his before and after of six months of mewing. Looks like maybe there was some weight loss in there, but quite a bit of difference. Then we have this guy, which is mostly a joke. We have a lot of them like this on Reddit, who says, keep mewing guys, and this is his before and after. Then we have this guy, who claims that 15 months of mewing made him go and look from looking like this to looking like this. Finally, we have this guy who's 23 and has been mewing for two years, claims that he didn't think it would change him that much, but this is his before and after. As you can see, there's a lot of people saying a lot of good things about mewing. So let's dig into the science. The literature on mewing itself is limited to say the least. However, there is a decent amount of scientific literature on tongue posture. So let's dig in. A study by Gurani and colleagues of 10 people in 2019 found that altered head and tongue posture significantly affects upper airway volumes. They found that being in a position of head extension, aka good posture, significantly increased airway volume. While being in a position of head flexion, aka forward neck posture, decreased airway volume significantly. Another study by Promozik and colleagues in 2013 of 40 participants found that people with class three dental alignment, which looks like this, tend to have a lower position of their tongue in the mouth compared to those with a standard alignment, known as class one, which looks like this. This research suggests that the way the tongue rests in the mouth could be related to these dental and jaw characteristics. However, a study in 2019 by researchers Farheen Fatima and Mubasar Fida, they looked at 90 participants and found no difference between tongue posture and dental alignment class. However, they did conclude there was a moderate to weak correlation between tongue posture and dental arch widths. Digging deeper into the literature, the findings continue to be mixed, so we don't really have any hard evidence backing you in. But there could be potential benefits, we just need more research on the subject. So, should you mew? It's hard to say. The research is mixed. Put your faith in Reddit and hope for the best, or wait for more literature on the subject. However, mewing absolutely has one thing correct, and that is proper posture. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, click here to watch another video similar to this one. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe.